Um, this bell ringer is a practice for the A cap. And if you noticed, um, right up here in the corner, it says G4. And that means it's a fourth grade question. So um, we're just gonna practice with some of the things with the A cap. And I know it's kind of small written up here, but just kind of try to get you used to what the A cap questions look like. Okay, this one says, for each shape in the table, select whether the shape has right angles, parallel sides, or perpendicular shapes. Remember, this is a fourth grade question. So those vocabulary words are kind of tricky to them. So this one, um, if you look, that little box, the little box in the corner, and the little box in the corner, that is a right angle box. So we're going to check, oops, I forgot to hit the thing. We're gonna check that it has right angles. Does it have parallel sides? Parallel means they don't intersect. They go on forever and ever. I do not see any parallel sides here. So I'm not gonna check that one. Does it have perpendicular sides? Yes, because there is a right angle. Next shape, this is a rectangle. Remember, fourth grade question. It does have right angles. It does have parallel sides here and here. And it does have perpendicular sides because perpendicular sides meet at a right angle, okay? Moving on, question, bell ringer question number two. The figure shown um, is made of unit cubes. What is the volume in unit cubes of this figure? Okay, remember fourth grade question. So um, I would probably cut this into two different shapes and do the volume of this one. Okay, so we have um, volume equals length times width times height. So that would be two by three by one, two, three, four. So that back shape is going to be two times three times four. And then this one in the front, this like step is two. It's only one tall and one, two, three, four going back. So the other one is a two by four by one. Okay. So, um, that's gonna be six, six times four is 24, plus that's gonna be eight. Two times four is eight plus one, I mean times one is eight. And then four plus eight is 32. So, C, 32 would be the one that you would answer. All right, moving on. A comparison statement is shown. 850 is less than 850 times what? 850, I'm gonna write it bigger. It's less than 850 times what number? And we have answer choices, okay? Um, if you think logically, if you multiply 850 times anything, if I multiply it by one, it's gonna be equal. If I multiply it by something greater than one, even if it's 1.1 or 1.2, then that will be greater than the 850. So I'm looking for a number that is more than one, a value of more than one. So let's look at the answer choices, okay? Um, oh, look, it says multiple answers can be selected because I just glanced at it and realized that there's more than one answer. And it says it right here. Multiple answers can be selected when answering this question. All right. Oh, and up here, it says select two. Two. We're looking for two answers. They talked about that in the ACAP practice um, a few weeks ago. There are two answers we're going to pick here. I'm looking for two answers that are greater than one. Okay. Five-fourths. Oh, that's an unhappy fraction. That is one and one-fourth. That is greater than one, so I'm going to pick that one. Ten one-thousandths. That is less than one. 850 out of 850, that is equal to one. One third, that's less than one. Six fifths, six fifths is going to be one and one fifth. That is greater than one. That is my other answer choice. All right, that's your ACAP review for a fourth grader. Just getting you used to those questions. All right, see you in the next video.